Hey guys, what's up? It's Johnny here and welcome to another episode of The Six Show and I'm here with my main man, V. How are you, buddy? Yeah, I'm awesome today and, you know, I'm feeling tropical again. I love it. <laughs> uh, this week we, have a, we interview the awesome, one of the co-founders of the F-Stop Lounge, Lee DePros, and he's going to share a story how he cloned himself. And he's going to inspire us with a tropical island dream image and he's going to show us what he's created. It's a once-in-a-lifetime photography workshop with some of the best instructors in the world all the way in Fiji. It's going to be epic, man. Let's get into it. Let's get into it. The Six Show. Share, inspire, create.com. Share. All right, Lee, share something with us that not many people know about you, brother. Wow. Well, first of all, thanks very much for having me here. I'm stoked to be on your show and SICK is an awesome place for people. So thanks. Thanks so much for extending the invite. Now, something that not many people know is that I'm an identical twin. That's how I can get so much work done. Um, it's actually, <laughs> it's actually I'm an identical twin and um, I suppose oh, a funny, a funny story. Do you want to hear a funny story? Yeah, it's oh, hell yeah, we do. <laughs> well, well, being an identical twin is one of those things where everyone goes, "Oh, so do you feel the same connections? Do you, do you know? Do you, do you play jokes? Do you do all this?" And you know, throughout our life, we never really did that, but except for this one time, we decided that we'll play the ultimate joke. Uh, in high school, my brother went on exchange for uh, a year to Germany, so no one saw him for a whole year. They obviously just have to look at me to see him. Uh, but the funny thing was, we decided to play the ultimate prank by telling everyone to rock up at the airport one hour later than he actually arrived. So what I did with my good mate at the time, I went to the airport and we exchanged clothes in the, in the, the bathroom and we exchanged a little bit of accent and I pretended to be my brother arriving at the airport while my brother was waiting with friends and family. So the, the plan was to trick his girlfriend at the time and also my mum. They're the two big things that we wanted to, two big people that we wanted to trick. So what, what we did, um, my brother, so he didn't want to get like, um, you know, uh, revealed. He actually went to a payphone and pretended to make a call while some of the group was gathering to, you know, to see himself arrive. So all I did was pretend to be him by wandering down the stairs and then I said, hello, how, how are you all, you know, in sort of a German accent. And Give us that. Bro, I want to hear that accent, man. Yeah, come on. Do that again, oh, the accent. It was, it was, it was a twang. So I, I probably can't do it now because that long ago. I'm actually quite old. But what <laughs> happened was really cool. So his girlfriend came up to me and gave gave me a big hug. And my mum was looking at me and thinking it was my brother, and she started, like, crying and being a bit teary. Oh, and then it was oh, only oh. his girlfriend that actually noticed, you know, a minute later and goes, uh, Scott, what, what? And, um, <laughs> and then, then everyone just cracked up laughing. Well, my friend who knew and my brother, Scott, at the time, he was, he was cracking uh, um, <laughs> and, uh, it, and it was just the best best experience ever because we'd never played a joke like that before and back then we were very identical you know um we were almost similar and my mum always used to get us mixed up so <laughs> if you see a twin ask them ask them what what they've been up to because i'm sure they'll come up with a funny story like that oh that's, that's funny crazy. Man. so did um did your mum ever forgive you yeah <laughs> yeah yeah, yeah. she's a very good sense of humor so that's one thing that's i probably get my dry sense of humor from her but uh yeah, it's very good. Okay. And how long did the relationship last with your brother and his <laughs> Well, I ended up dating her. No, 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 no. <laughs> she enjoyed the hug so much. <laughs> no, seriously. Um, it, I, yeah, it didn't last. Oh, it went on for a while. It went on for a while. Okay. But uh, yeah. Yeah, my brother has since moved on from there. And he's married okay. now and uh, he's oh, got a good. kid, actually. Probably the same Connection with you, Johnny. You've got a child along the way. Is that right? Yeah, yeah. Little yeah. Jaden, he's on his way, man. Three weeks down, counting down. Uh, so, yeah, yeah. one for long. Super, super pumped. Yeah, well, my sister-in-law, she's now um, oh, eight months over. No, sorry, 
eight months. Eight months overdue. Jeez. Yeah, right. Oh, it's, it's, a, it's actually it's three, three days. I think it's about three days overdue. So okay. he's very excited and um, yeah, yeah. I'm very excited. He's going to be an uncle as well. And I'll see some of my genes in this little kid. So yeah. it's Awesome, man. Yeah. Good story, bro. Yeah, Epic. It's a great story. Sharing, yeah, man. thank you. No worries. Uh, how's your wine? You've got, you've got a wine there too, just out of interest. Yeah, I Me do, and actually. It's a nice big wine. I've, I hear you've moved up from the coffee. We have afternoon show, so yes. afternoon recording. We are we're on the red wine, very well. Pompous. Just afternoon somewhere in the world, right? Mm. Is it? I think it is. <laughs> yeah, it's afternoon here, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Epic man, thanks for the story. Yeah, man. Thanks, Lee. Awesome. Inspire. All right, Lee, inspire us with one of your amazing images. Well, you know, I've been around a, a bit and taken a few images, mainly weddings and stuff. You know, they're inspiring to me because I enjoy capturing the motion and stuff. And I'm sure you've seen photos like that yourselves. Yeah. Um, but I think for me, the ultimate is travel. Uh, when I l go mm. traveling, I experience so much inspiration. I see new things and new places and it just engages me like um, this image here. Um, this image is actually quite iconic for me at the time. Um, and I'll go into that a little bit later, but this was actually taken in Fiji and Brent and Johnny, have you been to Fiji before? No, no I haven't, mate. I haven't. It's on my bucket list, but that's yeah, for sure. Yeah, definitely. Man. Absolutely and the, epic. And for me, Vanuatu is the closest I've been, but no, ne never Fiji. Yeah. But we will be well, going soon. The yeah. there is paradise. It is paradise, but there's so much inspiration that can be seen around you. And I actually took a little bit, uh, bit of a walk on this island that you can see on the left-hand side of the image, and it's, it was just spectacular. I actually walked to the island and... And I found the local village and um, there was this guy that actually approached me and he was very, very friendly. Uh, he actually, in the, in the end, he added me on Facebook and stuff, but he, uh, he told me to sit down on this handmade throne and I sat there and he took my camera and took a photo of me and then his little kid came up and he sat down on the throne and I took a photo of him and showed them and it was just, it was just really inspiring and um, he said... Uh, you know, what, what are you doing here? I said, well, I'm just photographing a wedding because I was doing that at the time. And uh, I got chatting to him and stuff and I said, oh, what do you do? And he says, he's a fisherman. I said, oh, so you know the island quite well. And he goes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you want, do you want a tour? And I said, if you take me on a tour, I'll be happy to pay you to, you know, take me on a boat and go around the islands and see, see everything. So that's what he did. He ended up getting his mate's boat. He put me in it. And we went on this epic adventure around Manor Island and this sort of surrounding islands. There's a nice sandbar on the outer coast. And I got to see this beautiful, magnificent island um, from the boat. And, you know, it's one of those yeah. tourist experiences that you just, you know, money can't buy. Um, and it was just one of the right time, right places. I mean, has that ever happened to you guys? Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. I mean, not, not like that. I, and one thing about that image, I just... You know, I just, as you speak and I'm looking at that image, I can feel myself being there on the boat yeah. and I met this guy and I can see the story. And, yeah, it is and it is images like that that you capture that are really inspiring. You know, bring back those memories of those times, those little things that happen, those little details, you know, like you talk about the throne and the young kid and, yeah, it's just awesome. Love yeah, that. and at the time the little kid was sitting behind me and sort of pulling on my shorts a little bit, you know, <laughs> wanting to see the images I was taking. But uh, oh. as we approached the north part of the island, he uh, turned off the, the motor and got this long stick out and he guided the boat through this maze of amazing coral. And, you know, I could look left and right and forward and all I saw was pristine water, which was clear and beautiful. You know, I could see the stingrays. I could see the fish. It was just bliss. Wow. And, yeah. um, and it was actually at this point, I had a previous meeting uh, the day before with the, um, uh, the managing director of the island who found out I was a photographer and interested in social media. And uh, I was at this point that came up with the idea of going, wow, I should hold a workshop here. And, you know, that, that thought is something that played on my mind over and over again. And I thought, how am I going to do this? You know, but fortunately, through F-Stop Lounge and my partner, Andre, uh, F-Stop Lounge, and he's based in Germany, we, we decided to create this thing. And, you know, I'll talk about that in a little bit. Bit later, but, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah that's the create that's the create part, and we'll find out way more about that, Lee, in a, in a minute. But um, can you just explain this uh, image if if someone is not seeing it on their screen, and that if they're watching this video, they will. 
but someone is listening in audio. Can you explain what it what it looks like? Yeah. So this image is basically if you imagine a pristine island. Okay, like you know the palm trees hanging over the edge of the beach. Yeah. Mm. That's sort of on the distant horizon, on the left hand side. And in the foreground, I'm sort of sitting in the middle of the boat, and I'm standing mm. up. And all you can see is almost a silhouette-like image of a gentleman standing at the, the, is it the bow of the boat? Um, yeah. With a long stick, yeah. and he's reaching his hands out forward, and, you know, it's rowing with this massive stick and mm. pulling the boat along in the water. And all you can see around him is blue. So there's a blue yeah. sky, and then the water is this turquoise and beautiful blues, mm. and you can sort of see some of the coral in the, in the sort of the foreground. And it's just this feeling of movement and um, almost like a vacation holiday feel that you're t being taken on a ride. And that's yeah. why you get out of this image. Yeah, no, I, I, and I love the composition. It, it makes me feel exactly like I'm there sitting on the boat and this guy's off the front and it's silent except for a bit of a breeze. And you can yep. see the silhouette of the palm trees on that mm -hmm. little headland on the left-hand side. And I just love the light. The light is um, down the long pole and down his... And the way the, the time that you've captured it too, he's got his arm up ready to put that big pole mm. into the water and his muscles are flexed and you can see the light along his arm. It's yeah. just, yeah, it's, it's the subtle details. That, yeah, I love it. Yeah. And I just love the way that the canoe is white. It's totally white. Yeah, yeah. that's cool. Yeah. Isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. And it, yeah, it looks I mean, like it's got some... Safe hands with this guy. I mean, he had bulging muscles, you know. <laughs> so I actually went on, uh, I'll tell you a quick story. I went on another uh, trip with him the, the following day at sunset to the sandbar. And uh, I did feel quite safe. Uh, I mean, I only just met this guy and we're out at sea. And uh, we went back into the boat, ready to go back to shore. By then the sun had set, it was getting dark, and the motor of the boat wouldn't start. <laughs> oh. Oh, and, this, and for about 20 minutes he tried and tried and tried and tried and he was sweating and like you could just see him like like the shock on his face like oh I'm taking this tourist out and this motor's not starting so I said oh we're, we're just camp here you know being Australian oh I'll be fine I'll be right but then his, he like did a little prayer and tried again and this motor started perfectly and here I am no. today awesome <laughs> Well, man, I have so many stories just from that one time you met oh, this guy. Like, that's crazy. That's great, man. I, mm. I love the stories behind the image and hearing about it is just so inspirational. Definitely. Right? Just quickly, Lee, what did you? Um, what what kind of camera did you take this image with? Well, at the time, I took it on a. Uh, it was a Fujifilm XT1, um, and that was with the 10 to 24 mil XF lens. So oh, I had that okay. on loan from Fujifilm Australia, and it was fantastic. Great camera for travel. Mm, as awesome. by National Geographic. Okay. Yeah, wicked. Oh, wow. There you go. Awesome. Well, thanks, Lee, for inspiring us with such an amazing image and the story behind it. I think uh, we all want to go there now and yeah. and get get away from our normal jobs and, and go to this island paradise where everything happens slowly, you know. <laughs> You've got the perfect opportunity to go there, Brent, and let me tell you in this next segment. Create. All right, Lee, so that amazing image from Fiji, that led you to create something. Tell us about it. Yeah, well, I'm glad you asked, Brent. Um, I wanted to tell you guys about something that I did create from this image. You know, I was so inspired by the location and all my surroundings that, I mean, you've just got to create something from it and let others experience it. So that's what I went to go about doing. Um, so I actually got in contact with Andre, my founder of co-founder of fstoplounge.com, and we decided that we're going to create one of the biggest workshops for 2015. And uh, I'm sure you guys have may may have seen it. Do, have you guys seen it on the internet and around? Oh yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think we should show them the cover page now. Yeah, yeah there we'll it bring is. Bring that up. It's, it's, well, it's as you amazing. can see on this cover page, we've got some of the world's leading teachers and instructors, and also most talented artists coming along to this workshop to teach you guys exactly what photography is and how they became successful in their particular field. I mean, we've got masters of photography. Um, as, as they said by the AIPP, the Australian Institute of Professional Photographers have named them Masters of Photography. We've got um, Laika, Principal Instructors, um, Nick Raines. So there's Tony Hewitt, uh, which is the 2013 Australian Photographer of the Year. We've got the inspirational speaker of Colby Brown, who is a, not only a, a, uh, a fantastic travel photographer who you would have hear, 
heard on a uh, previous episode of Sick, but he is a humanitarian photographer and he likes to do things with a cause. So we've got him talking on the workshop. We've also got uh, the talented Jay and Verena Patel, who are very well travelled, and they also love landscape photography. That, so they'll be sharing their insights into, you know, camera techniques and things like that. Um, not, I'm not going to um, forget mentioning uh, Elia Lacardi, who's at the moment doing something quite unique with f-stoppers. But this this workshop is an experience um, to be had. So you can actually come along to the workshop and engage with these instructors like a liar, and he can teach you about travel photography, and teach you what made him so successful in, you know, blamethemonkey.com. So you can learn all these techniques from these instructors. Um, we've also got um, the fabulous Benjamin Von Wong. Now, for those that don't know Benjamin, um, I mean, have you guys run into Benjamin before online and seen his work? I have. It's yeah. amazing. Yeah. It's incredible. What's the standout thing for you um, when you see Benjamin's work? I think it's the uh, the model the model images with the uh, flowy dresses and things like yeah, oh, that's yeah. crazy. So yeah. he's all about work, you know, um, creating a an event to create some epic image. So he he reaches out to his community and uses fantastic tools to create this divine image that you only see in his portfolio. So he's going to share some insights um, with uh, how he goes about doing that. We've also got. Uh, Jen Brooke, who's an international model coming uh, to the workshop. Um, so Benjamin will be working with her to teach you guys how to take um, a portrait and edit it in post-processing and things like that. Um, so we've got all these fabulous instructors. I hope I haven't missed anyone out when I have. I've left the best to last. Um, because, you know, as photographers, we always pick up our digital SLRs and we always take photos. I mean, how often do you take photos, guys? Come on. You take yeah, well, that's what we're here for. Yeah, yeah all the time. Yeah. Yeah, we should go beyond that. I mean, we're creative people. Why limit ourselves to just photos? Why not build upon our portfolio of work and go into video? Because we've got the tools, but we're not using them. And that's exactly why I've invited Michael Fletcher along. Because Michael Fletcher, he is a master of videography. He's up there with Philip Bloom. Mm. I mean, if you haven't seen his Vimeo videos yet, you're missing out. Go to his page right now because... The videos that he creates are just truly epic. He started on a 5D Mark II, and he's going to share all his insight, you know, that he's learned over the years. And he's at the moment shooting on a C300 by Canon, but he still uses all the Canon lenses. And for many of us, that's exactly what we have in our kits. So coming along to the workshop, you're not only going to learn photography, but you're going to learn videography as well and how to get the most out of your digital SLR because it's a tool that we can make money from. So how does that sound, guys? Sound like you want to come? I'm, yeah, I'm there. I'm pumped, me. man. Super pumped about it. <laughs> you, you guys are coming, and I'm very excited. So the sick show will be coming to Fiji. Yes. So you'll see them there. You'll get to meet these wonderful people, Brent Mayo and Johnny Spencer. <laughs> and uh, I'm very excited to have you guys there um, filming the whole event and also running some sick shows from there. I totally. Hell and, yeah. and I'm, I'm really excited. You know, some of these guys, obviously quite a few of them we've met face-to-face already, but a few we haven't. And, you know, Michael Fletcher won... I uh, really want to meet. He was one of the first videographers that inspired me. I, I saw his um, uh, videos from uh, Papua New Guinea. Mm -hmm. Just amazing images with the, the background music and everything. I'm starting to get the hairs yeah. on the back of my neck stand up again. But really just an inspirational person. And, you know, we obviously know Jane Verena, amazing landscape photographers. We've, we've had Col Colby on the show too, travel photographer extraordinaire, <laughs> you know, and uh, quite a few of the others that we haven't met face to face, but I really want to. Um, hook up with these guys. So for someone going along, uh, how long is the workshop for, Lee, and, and what can they expect to do? Yeah. Like, is it all day? Like, are you shooting yeah, all well, day? How does it work? Because there's eight instructors, we've, we've decided to, um, rather than, I've seen other workshops out there where, you know, you have to pay a fee to attend each instructor's workshop. I didn't want to create that. I wanted to create an experience for everyone where they can experience a different workshop from each instructor, a different way of thinking and a different way of doing things. So it's going to build you up as a better business person, a better photographer, a better videographer. So you're better equipped to do these things that people, you know, you can charge for. So we structured the workshop on three days and there is going to be quite a few people coming along to the workshop, but we wanted to make it small and intimate. So what we've done, we've actually gone in and uh, we're going to be splitting up the group into six groups. So there's going to be six small groups 
And those small groups will actually experience uh, a, two workshops per day from two different instructors. So there'll be an early morning course, which will be uh, separated into two different segments with breaks either side. We'll, we'll jump out for lunch uh, on the island. There's all catered lunch, which is fantastic. And then for the second half of the day, where we're going to experience another instructor, whether it be landscape photography, travel photography, editing, portraiture, videography, you're going to experience that as a group. So you'll be amongst like-minded peers, um, getting the best content in the world from the best instructors. And I highly encourage you to check out the workshop page and actually book this because spots are going pretty quickly. Um, now, on top of that, we've also got um, uh, a night activity um, or a night presentation by um, Tony Hewitt. Now, for those that don't know, Tony is the most inspiring speaker. He actually speaks uh, around the world. He's actually got a master's in linguistics and uh, he's also the 2013 Australian Photographer of the Year and Landscape Photographer of the Year. So you get to learn about the inspiration and emotion um, and the, the thought that you need to put into taking a photo. Um, yeah. So he's going to be doing a night session, which is about an hour and a half. So two groups will come together for that. And basically the two workshops and the night, act night sort of session will happen in the day. And um, basically that repeats over three days. So we've got six groups spending time with all the instructors. So does that sort of give you a bit of clarity on how that works? Uh, yeah, totally, man. And yeah, I'm getting crazy. excited just you're yeah. talking about it. And I've actually heard uh, Tony Hewitt uh, speak at the um, ARPP Awards uh, I went to one year. Yep. And yeah, a, a very inspirational uh, speaker. Yeah. And yeah, just I can't wait to go. Yeah, it sounds so, like a, it sounds like a bit of a dream to me. Like all yeah. these photographers in this absolutely epic location, yeah. like it, it doesn't sound like it could be possible. I, Lee, I don't know logistically how you pull this off, mate. Well, <laughs> it's taken five and a half months. Yeah, I know. <laughs> so when when is it, Lee? Okay, I'm glad you asked. It's actually on the 29th, 30th, and 31st of October in 2015. Places are limited, and the first. Um, can I go into pricing? Do you want to know about sort of pricing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 let's know all about. Yeah. So the first 35 people, which is getting uh, down to a significant number now, uh, will actually get a $200 discount. So okay. the price wow. of the workshop is $1,200, and that's really really affordable. Wow. Um, wow. <laughs> Yeah, and that's in US dollars. Um, if you're after the 30 people, you will have to pay $200 more because um, the early bird would have finished. So it would be 1400 But, I mean, if you break up that figure amongst eight workshop instructors, it's really affordable. Um, yeah. So the only thing is on top of that, you've got to buy uh, your flights and sort of the accommodation and, and which includes all your food and, you know, and welcome drinks. So it's very, very affordable. And you can go to the links on the workshop page to find out about how much the accommodation is. Um, unfortunately, we can't list them there because we've got some very, very exclusive deals uh, that won't be repeated. So definitely check it out. Awesome. So it tell us be. a little bit about the island too. I think there's something special about this island, right? Yes, Manor Island is fantastic. Um, Manor Island, um, as a photographer for myself, you know, being around the island, you just feel so relaxed. I mean, if you look from the air, you'll see on the Google map, and there's some videos around the internet of Manor Island. This island is just sublime. It's just surrounded by coral reefs. The, the water's wow. so clear. Um, it's got sort of two peaks on either side of the island. One peak would be perfect for doing nighttime photography with stars, as there's not a lot of light pollution. Um, you know, it's surrounded by beautiful beaches. So you can just do the most amazing landscape photography around sort of the, the groin areas of the, the island and the little the sort of the big coves that form the head of the island. Um, there's also a sandbar located off the island as well, so you might want to sort of venture out and, you know, do that in your spare time because there will be some spare time. And not only is the island beautiful with the environment, but the actual facilities on the island are just world class. You've got great accommodation, awesome pool. They're currently redeveloping the whole thing to make it even better. Um, so that what you see on the site now isn't necessarily going to be the best thing, but i tell you what, from what I got told from the managing director of the island, this this next redevelopment phase is going to be incredible. So I guarantee wow. you'll enjoy it. Yeah. Okay, so there's only one resort on the island. Is it quite a small island? 
It is quite a small island. Um, everything you can sort of walk to by foot. Um, oh, really? Some of the, the instructors uh, will have little golf carts to go around yeah. uh, <laughs> and uh, sort of the film crew and stuff like that. So, I mean, it's one of those places that you can explore and feel safe. Um, we've also wanted we wanted to choose Manor Island because there's lots of islands off the coast of Fiji, but we chose Manor Island specifically for um, the family orientation around the island. So it's very family orientated. So you can actually bring your little ones along. You bring your wife. There's a day spa on the island, and they can have a relaxing time, you know, while you go out and take photos. And they can even join you for, you know, the um, the teas and the breakfasts and the evening and stuff like that. Um, so you can have them along, and so they're not feeling excluded. And the best thing is you can have a holiday after. You know, you can decide to stay home. Great. So are you saying that afterwards, after the workshop, you actually get to hang with the instructors and network a little bit? So during the actual island, um, the island activities, um, so the three days of workshop, there's going to be a significant amount of times, a significant amount of times to actually integrate uh, and socialise and network with everyone. Mm -hmm. You know, we'll all come together as a group for food. We'll all come okay. to, um, together for, you know, talks and things like that. So, yeah, you'll be able to, it's a networking experience and you can actually spend time with the instructors on the island and, you know, learn more outside of the, the workshop activities. Um, and that's one thing that we really want to. We want everyone in the same location experiencing the same things and growing together. Awesome. Yeah. Oh, that's amazing. Oh, that's uh, epic, mate. Wow. Absolutely awesome. <laughs> I can't wait. I know. October's coming pretty quickly, so um, I yeah, can't wait to see you guys there. It it's going to be awesome. Uh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, so guys, definitely get in there now and um, and book your ticket before they it's all sold out. Yeah, awesome. Thanks, Lee. Awesome, create, man. Such... Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, Fantastic. Awesome. Thanks, guys. Awesome, Lee. Well, thanks for coming on the show, man. It's, you know, super inspirational to show us that image of Fiji. I love the story of you and your brother, you know. That was epic. <laughs> <laughs> you know, tricking your, your mum and uh, and your brother's girlfriend. Yeah. And then the uh, the epic workshop that's coming up in Fiji. I can't wait to be there. So. Yeah. It's going to be huge. Know, that's awesome. Well, uh, thank you so much for the opportunity to, to have me on the show, guys. I'm so thrilled. And, you know, from the day dot when six started, I've, I've been watching and, I encourage any of your viewers to share it with their friends because these guys, if I can give you guys a pitch now, uh, ben, ben <laughs> yeah, go ahead, go ahead. Yeah. I love it. This is the best show out there. You've heard it from me. You know, it's the it's casual, it's relaxed, it's to the point, it's photography, and that's what we want to learn, guys. So this is a perfect hangout for it. So join these guys when they create these videos. Jump on and share it with your friends because I tell you what, you're missing out if you don't. Well, thanks, Lee. Thanks, man. We really we, we love that, you bro. even more now. Yeah. <laughs> okay, you want to be on next week, bro? Yeah. yeah. And the week after. <laughs> awesome, dude. Yeah. Well, thanks, Lee. And, um, and uh, yeah, we'll we'll see you in Fiji. Yeah. yeah see mate. you there. Do it. Take care, right. bro. See you later. Bye. I'm going to Fiji. Oh, I'm there. I'm so there. Fiji's been on my bucket list, man. And oh. as you know, Ange is part. Fiji and Indian, and mm -hmm. then, um, that's Johnny's yeah, partner. My partner, Ange, yeah. So he's about to have a baby. Ooh, yeah. yeah. Actually, by the time this show comes out, I may have had a baby. Ooh, you might yeah. have. Anyway, stay tuned. They've had a baby. We've had a baby. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, how is that, man? I tell you what, that image it just made me feel like I was there. The composition yeah. of the boat and the way yeah. the guy is just about to strike that pole down and pull pull the boat through. How's your wine, mate? It's very good, actually. I'm gonna say mine's empty. Oh, sorry. Smashed it. It's all good. <laughs> I think I got the bottle here. Yeah, yeah, Tommy, yeah. bro. Just, just, right, just so, a speech. Just so you guys know, like in the morning, when we do interviews in the morning, we have coffee. And it's the evening, evening right now. Yeah, we're on oh, the white. Yeah, yeah. So, well, we're not on it. We actually only have one glass. Ah, that's enough. That's enough. Drive, bro. Okay. Cheers, man. Cheers. Welcome to the six show. Yeah. Yes, Love to, to, yes to Fiji. Yes to Fiji, yo. Can't wait to go. It's going to be epic, man. Yeah. So, we're going to Fiji, by the way, me and Ooh. Johnny. Ooh. We're going to meet Lee there, all those great instructors. And we want you guys there, and hopefully the, it's not sold out by the time the show comes out. It shouldn't oh, be. Oh, yeah. Hopefully. No, it's, yeah. it's selling fast. At least fast, it's, like, guys. Yeah. it's selling fast. Yeah, he gave us a little insider information there. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So please go and check out this URL. He will show you now. Check out the workshop page. And Manor Island looks absolutely epic. I've heard so, stories of Manor Island from other people, not just Lee. Okay. A friend of mine uh, over here, they, they went there 10 years ago or something, said it was epic. Oh, I, man. I think they've got a village there. and. 
Oh, all sorts of things. Lee was like, saying that the, 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 geographically there's two big mountain peaks and bays and coral reefs and sandbars and everything's in within walking distance. I tell you what, and, and the accommodation looks pimping too, man. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, guys, get onto it. I, I, I'm so excited, yeah, man. Yeah, good. And it's Johnny's got awesome. an underwater housing now, so I wonder Ooh, what the underwater yeah. photography would be like. Ooh, yeah. I know, I will be, man. I'll be yeah. taking it for sure. Yeah. Epic. Yeah. All right, guys, thanks for watching another episode of The Sick Show. We hope you enjoyed it, and please go and check out the web, uh, that workshop. It's going to be absolutely epic. And as always, please leave us a rating in iTunes. I know I beg and plead, but it really does help us. It helps the show, the rankings in iTunes, and it really gets the word out about there what we're doing. And also, guys, if you love one of the episodes, share it on social media. Share the photo love, guys. Share the love. Cheers and see you in Fiji. See you in Fiji. Bye. Bye. To find out more, go to shareinspirecreate.com.